Hi there Wargamers, welcome to another unboxing slash review video. Uh, this time it's on the Rubicon models Panzer IV for 28mm uh, war games, uh, World War II obviously. And um, I bet the Rubicon sent me this one as a, a, a review. A re review. So we're going to get this cracked open. Um, but first let's have a look, nice look at the packaging. We've got a nice box art there. Um, of a little scene of a, the Panzer IV in action. On the back, got a nice little um, profile picture of a, of a Panzer IV. Um, a, a little picture of the um, transfer sheet that you get inside, and a nice little bio of the Panzer IV. If you want to read that, it's that short thing. I can get that a bit closer. There we go. Too close. There we go. Do that up nice and slowly for you. You can pause it if you want. Ooh. There we go. That bit there. Yeah, a few hundred sold, eh? Anyway, so let's have a get this cracked out of this box. If I zoom the camera back out so you can actually see what I'm doing. There we go, you can see the table. Oh, I won't hold that against you. So, what do you get in the box? Quite a bit, by the looks of things. So obviously we get the instruction booklet, which we'll have a, a look at in a second. Uh, some decals in a nice little um, plastic sleeve, which is a really nice touch, something I really like the look of. And you get your sprues, individually bagged. Now I've, this is something I really like, to be honest. Um, it protects the sprues from each other, stops them damaging each other. And uh, prevents me from getting them out of the bags. Um, Oh god, this is going to be the epic fail video, isn't it? Aha! One spoon. So, get these out of the packets so we can look at them. Oh, I've got to put some music in this section. So, get those bags out of the way, and let's have a look. Now, as it's a wargaming kit, let's have a, have a zoom in and we'll get um, a close look at the components. There we go, that's a bit closer. So we've got the nice, um, a nice body section there. And uh, some track wheels and tracks, a nice one single piece there. Some, the... So you have to excuse me, my, my lack of knowledge and tanks, the, the front and back wheels, or whatever they're called. They're probably, someone in the, down in the comments will probably correct me with actually the correct name. But um, I'm loving the actual amount of detail on this little tank. I say little, it's 28mm, it's, uh, it's uh, bigger than what the ones I've painted in the past for um, World War II. So that's the main body. We've got the uh, shirts in. Hey, hey, yeah, I know stuff about World War Two too, and um, I know a bit there. And so uh, uh, the actual um, shirts, no, it's still shirts. Someone's on the turret. That's another one for you guys who actually know more than me. So we'll quick look on the other side. Not too many pieces as well, which is something that us war gamers like. But we have, what we do have here is lots and lots of little parts. Like the gun mantle, a spare, a spare section of track, um, different mounts, fronts and the bits of detail there. The actual look, looks like the rear of the tank. Even looks like a... Is that a Panzer, is that a Panzer valve? Nah, probably not. It's probably part of, the, part of the engine or transmission or something like that. But anyway guys, I'm going to go away uh, get one of these variants built. There's lots of options on this sprue for different variants, so let's have a quick look at the instructions to see what we can build. So we've got um, the German Panzer IV, Orf, F2, G and H. Nice and simple instructions. Not nothing com too complex, which is always good for us war gamers, as we want to get it on the table as quick as possible. And um, here we go, we've got step four, we've got freedom options for different gun mounts. And it looks like they're interchangeable, which is always good. So that's always good. So if you want to feel different variants of the tank, a few different uh, times of times of war, that's even better. And we've got the um, 
shirts them, which looks to me like it can be removed or well removed if you want to be it's not permanently affixed it okay guys i really am going to go for, away and build this now we're back in a second when i've got the tank built and we'll have a quick look closer look at the, the, the finished model welcome back guys as you can see i have uh, completed my panzer 4 um i must admit went together really really easily the only bits um i had any bit of trouble were with certain these bars that go on the side of the tank but that's just probably me being cack handed um all in all i'm very impressed with the actual um detail in this tank uh, but i'll just get a bit further zoom in here maybe i'll barely appreciate this probably too far but, but there's loads of detail i'm going to be able to pick out with the um bit of paint there nice bit of detail on the wheels tracks and whatnot on the machine gun there and also one thing I like um, about this is that the um, the shirts in is um, optional extra just like that you can just pop it on and off um, even go so far if you get the correct side matched up just um, holds with friction which I think is something that's really really special so if you want, if you want to have shirts on a certain day or um, you don't want to have shirts on you can have it it just, just pops on like that which I think is really cool um, anyway guys I'm going to go off and paint this now and we'll um, back with the final part of this video when I going to show off what, what, um, what these nice little beauties look like painted but I'm really really impressed guys back in a bit when we've um, when I've painted this up alright guys see you soon Welcome back Wargamers, um, I finally got this uh, model painted after a, a um, longer pay period than, than I'd like uh, but I'm still quite pleased with how it turned out um, went for a kind of, well, non, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't even know this isn't really a historical um, paint job, it's just a, an, an, an inspired paint job I suppose, so there's no real reference I've used here to um, for this camo scheme, just a simple um, dark yellow, green and brown and a stripe pattern. I'm, I'm still loving the, the very fact that the shirt really d doesn't need to be glued on if you don't want it to be. Uh, if you, I'm sure the, the I don't even sure if in, in game it matters or not. Um, the one thing I, I downside I've noticed since painting it it would have been nice if this uh, gun had had a, a little indentation for the uh, barrel end, but it's just smooth, but eh, no, it's not the end of the world. Um, turret goes around, turns, still turns a uh, bit fine, well, probably not with the sh shirts on, but um, a bit stiff after the paint, but um, still moves. Um, Details are still looking fine, just let me take the shirts and off so you actually look in the, um, inside the tracks. Still quite pleased with how this turned out. Lots of little details here and there, like the, the engine block. Um, there's a little bit of streak in there, you probably really can't see that. Um, did an oil wash on this thing to make it a bit grubby and grimy. Actually toned, and also toned down the yellow. And we've got the um, tools picked out there, here and there. Another thing as well that um, I didn't intend for, but the barrel actually moves up and down. I don't, I don't know if this, this is intended or, or what happened, or just how, how it glued. Uh, I looked out that way. But all in all, um, very pleased with this kit. Um, excuse my, uh, where I peg my uh, shirts onto a stick to paint it. Um, so really loving it gonna add some get some german infantry to go alongside this guy and uh, who knows someday i might actually have a game of bolt action okay guys i'm gonna go off into a little bit of a showcase um part of the video so you can have a better look at certain areas and than me waving the camera around all right guys um as always if you like the video hit the like button um if you like what you see go check out the rubicon um Kits and uh, a popular link. There's some some kind of um, 
somewhere in the description below. I'm sure I'll think of what it's actually called in a, in a bit later. Um, if you like um, on, unboxing this kind of thing, uh, hit the subscribe button. There's lots of different things on the channel. And um, don't forget to drop a comment below if anything you think about this kit or, uh, or the video. Okay guys, thanks for watching and enjoy the showcase. Bye bye.